Canal Street is full of life. Bustling streets, eager tourists, odd knick-knack stores, and of course, door after door of inexpensive cuisine. The sidewalks are crowded with people of many different origins, but the most prominent in the area are the Chinese. A very different image is painted in the quieter, more relaxed neighborhood of Avenue U. The streets are much emptier, the stores are less busy, and there is a greater diversity of people milling about the area. We visited two restaurants at around the same time of day. Big Wang Restaurant on Mott Street and Canal, seated an array of customers ranging from workers on their lunch break to tourists with their cameras and city maps. Ho Huai on Avenue U hosted only several elderly couples and a mother and her young daughter on a lunch date. The constant business of Canal Street and the audible quiet of Avenue U became an apparent theme during our travel. Even the parks located in these two neighborhoods showcase this pattern. Mellet Park, one of the only parks near Avenue U, was nearly empty, with only a handful of children running around freely. Columbus Park, an icon of Chinatown, was brimming with activity on every corner. People were playing instruments, gambling over Chinese checkers and other games, eating at picnic tables, or just walking about. Despite all of these differences, Canal Street and Avenue U are similar in that their sidewalks are lined with supermarkets, beauty salons, jewelry stores, bakeries, and bargain marts. We found a plethora of computer repair shops in Avenue U, a characteristic that wasn't too profound on Canal Street. In addition to these electronic stores, we also saw a kennel called Puppy City and an aquarium shop with a multitude of marine life for sale. Finding Nemo's. From our repeated travels to both of these major streets, it is safe to conclude that while Avenue U shares some aspects of Canal Street, they are two completely separate worlds. It is very clear while walking through Canal Street that you are in the heart of Chinatown, but not so much in Avenue U. The latter does not feature a majority Chinese population, but instead has a mix of Caucasians, Latinos, African Americans, Asians, and everyone in between. <laughs>